All right, so apparently I got very frustrated uh, with waiting for the recent update to the ranking system. It took them two months. Um, remember, I waited the first time. It was July 8th. Uh, I did that video in and out back August after August 22nd. The update. This is the last video on the rankings just to show how biased they are. This, the recent video I did was supposed to cover... Uh, parts through two through six because there's no need. Um, it, it's all biased. It, it, it's just a waste of time. So part seven is gonna try to get everything. So bear with me. I'm going from heavyweight all the way down to bantamweight weight. Um, just to show you an example, right? So here we go. Heavyweights. Uh, one through ten. One Cain Velasquez. Two Junior Dos Santos. Three Overeem. we Doom. Lesnar. Carwin. Mir. Antonio Bigfoot Silva, Josh Barnett, Brendan Schwab. Brendan Schwab's name, quote me on this one, will be removed from this list after getting knocked out by Big Nog. Now, notice Big Nog's name is not on this list. He's not even mentioned in the five guys as other contenders. You got Mike Russell, Roy Nelson, Cole Conrad. Sergey Karatanov, okay, and Fedor and Milenko. He shouldn't be out of 10, in my opinion, anyway, but whatever. So, that just shows how biased the list is. Um, Alright, whatever, moving on. Light heavyweight, John Jones, Shogun, Rashad Evans, Rampage, Machida, Forrest Griffin, Phil Davis, Little Nog, Dan Henderson, and Fajal. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, the guys mentioned next, Rich Franklin, Alexander Gustafsson, and King Mo, the janitor, and uh, Musasi. As it should be. This list is fine. Um, maybe you might want to change around the top three. Shogun should not be ranked higher than Rashad if he's the number one contender. Um, doesn't make any sense. If you guys remember the, the light heavyweight list that I said from... The first video, part one of the ranking systems, um, I just felt as if guys should be shifted around, you know. But th that's just my list. Um, the point of doing this is to show you guys that they wait for UFC events. This one got me wrong. This one did it before Rio. So it means it's going to be updated in about two or three weeks. My guess is two to show you again. But I don't think the light heavyweight is going to change. For whatever reason, um, Shogun is staying at number two, which he shouldn't be. That's just my opinion. Middleweight. Uh, number one, obviously, Anderson Silva. Two, still Chael Sonnen. That should be changed soon. Yushin Okami. Nate Marquardt. His name should be removed from the top five, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, Jack Ray. Mark Reynolds. Damien Maya. Brian Stan. Michael Bisping. Vita Buffer. Brian Stan's name should not be above Bisping's. Vitor should not be in the top 10, like I said, the last one. Uh, other five, uh, Alan Belcher, Tim Kennedy, Mohamed Khalidov, Hector Lombard, Robbie Lola, Jorge Santiago. Santiago and Lombard, especially Lombard, should be in the top 10. That's just my opinion. Um, Welterweight, GSP, John Fitch, Jake Shields, Josh Koscheck, Nick Diaz, uh, Carlos Condit, Charlie Brenneman, Rick Story, BJ Penn, Johnny Hendricks. Um, Hendrick should not be in the top 10. Rick Story should not be in the top 10, especially Charlie Brenneman. Um, Tiago Alba should be in the 10. Um, Diego Sanchez should be in the top 10. Uh, and I'll leave it at that. So, when we look at it, I'm just shifting around and making room for it. Okay, if Chael Sonnen is still the number two guy and so-called the number one contender, why is John Fitch ranked above Jake Shields? And this is going to shake you guys up also. I think the number one pound for pound fighter right now, according to Show Dog's list, is still GSP. And it should remain that way uh, because Anderson Silva just beat Yushin Okami, who I think was, uh, yeah, ranked number three. So Jake Shields, before he fought GSP, um, dropping out of welterweight, was ranked both in the top five for both uh, middleweight and uh, welterweight. Um, and when Dana White had run down the guys that Fedor has beaten, uh, I, I mean, the, the guys that Fedor has beaten, he also looked at the guys that they have beaten. 
you look at the guys that Jake Shields is beating. You beat Jake Shields, you beat a bigger contender than beating Yushin Okami. I understand that Ennis and Silva knocked out Yushin Okami, but beating Jake Shields is not an easy task. So it's like you beat all the guys that he beat, and that's pretty much what happens. What is it, 10, 15 fight winning streak? But Jake Shields, he beat Carlos Condit, Robbie Lawler, Yushin Okami, just to name a few guys. Yushin Okami's name alone. It's like you beat a guy, Jake, okay, GSP beat Jake Shields. You shouldn't have come, he's ranked high as a middleweight than Jake is. That goes more in the credit to GSP than it does Anderson Silva, technically. And I'm a very technical person, so I know I piss people off. Oh, well, that's just the truth of it. You can't handle it, find some other channel to watch. All right, uh, lightweight, Frank Edgar. Gil Melendez, Gray Maynard, Shina Aoki, Eddie Alvarez, Ben Henderson, Jim Miller, Clay Guida, Anthony Pettis, Melvin Gillard. This list is perfect. I wouldn't change it for the for the world. Hafiel Dos Anos is outside the list. Kabajiri, Masvidal, Dennis Seaver, and Gleason Tabao. This list is fine. Featherweight. Josie Aldo, Hatsu Aoki, as it should be. Chad Mendez, Kenny Florian, no. Pat Curran, Marlon Sanjo, Diego Sanchez, Joe Warren, Tyson Griffin, Manny Gamburian. Pat Curran, number five. They finally got one right. Jeez. Outside of this five, uh, outside of this ten, five guys, uh, Darren Elkins, uh, Patricio Freire, Mark Hominick, Eric Koch, Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier, I think, should be the first name out, and Darren Elkins should be the last. Um, Hominick should be still number 10 in my opinion. I don't see why uh, Tyson Griffin's name is in here. Um, and Kenny Florin is ranked way too high. Probably put, probably put, uh, hmm. Ah, I might put Kenny at 10 and put uh, Poirier at 9. Because Grisby's name not even mentioned in the 10 on the 5 guys outside of that 10. Let's just show how dumb this list is. Dan Elkins, really? Alright, Bantamweight. Dominic Cruz, Joseph Benavides, Uriah Faber, Brian Bowles, Scott Jorgensen, Demetrius Johnson, Miguel Torres, Brad Pickett, uh, Masakatsu Yeda, and Takei Mitsugaki. Um, five guys on outside. Hayden Borao, really? Uh, Hideo Takoro, Zach Makovsky, Michael McDonald, Eddie Wineland. Eddie Wineland should be in the top 10. Michael McDonald's name shouldn't even be mentioned in the other contenders. Zach Markovsky should be ranked number 10. Um, I put Wineland maybe 9, but Markovsky, if not higher, then one below Wineland. Those two should be neck and neck. Um, Yep, I would take out Yuida and, and Mitsugaki. Sorry. Um, that's just my opinion. Five weight, I'm not going to touch. There's no need. Um, yeah, so let's stretch this video out. So, with me running down the guys real quick, uh, the names, I spat them out like rapid fire, hot fire. Um, you can go back over it on your own. Sure, dog, it's up there. Make sure you check it out if you don't believe me. Um, they're biased because... Of the list being updated, it takes them way too long to update it. I think it should be updated after maybe maybe at the end of the month. I don't think necessarily after a UFC card um, per se. They they probably um, probably did this one before Rio um, because they're gonna update it after the Rampage fight maybe um, because you got three. Back to back to back fights with the UFC from Rio to the uh, Battle in the Bayou to um, Rampage and, and Jones uh, square down. And then from then then on, you go into the, the longer wait period. Then after Tough, you have uh, what's it called? Uh, Rampage Jones. Then after that, you have uh, uh, GSP and Diaz, um, the event in England with Minos and Lieben. And then I can't remember what's after that. And then December, obviously, the Canada event and the tough uh, finale, tough 14 finale, which hasn't even started yet. But um, not to get ahead of, ahead of myself, um, I think Sure Dog definitely has a lot of people um, lacking common sense. Um, why is Shosun's name still in the top three? 
I would even keep him in the top three. Um, why is Kenny Florian, bless you, why is Kenny Florian's name ranked in the top five? Why is Vito Belfort ranked number 10? Um, it, it, it's just so many things. Why is a welterweight top 10 so screwy? Um, it's just like, my, my, my thing, my whole reason with making this, I think started from the, the welterweight division, really, um, it's funny, they mention all the guys in that welterweight circle with the recent big wins, Rick Story, Charlie Brenneman, and, uh, oh man, I can't remember the other one's name. All right, Rick Story, Charlie Brenneman, those two. But then there's someone else. Let's see if I can go back to the list here. Um, basically, what I'm saying is, with those guys, yeah, Alvis is not even ranked in the top ten. Rick Story is above him. Charlie Brenneman is above him. Um, but the funny thing about all of this is Anthony Johnson's name wasn't even mentioned. Um, Chris Chris Lytle name is not even mentioned. Um, it's just just this shows like the stupidity of those. Okay, so here we go. Top five from five to one: Diaz, Kashuk, Shields, Fitch, and GSP. From six to ten: Condit, Brenneman, Story, Penn, Hendricks. Hendricks. Hendricks is not belong in that top 10 at all. Um, he should be neck and neck with Ellenberg, in my opinion. The same with McDonald. If you want to discredit Alves, you put him in that loop also. But Alves should be in that top 10. BJ Penn is in that top 10. I would give him that out of respect, but, I mean, you beat... He didn't even beat Fitch. It went it went to a draw. Why is he ranked back in the welterweight top 10? It, it's, just, it's just real fishy. Like, I think it's just fishing for guys to put... Because they don't have anybody else. Why isn't Anthony Johnson's name mentioned here? Why is Dan Hardy's name not in here? Why is Chris Lotto's name? None of those three names I mentioned are even mentioned as the other contenders are in the top ten. But you put Hendricks, Brenneman, and Story? Come on, really? Brenneman was on his way. He got catapulted. Rick Story got catapulted after Alves. I can understand. But Hendricks? Ah, oh, man. This list is screwy. Um... Askren is mentioned. This is ridiculous. Um, Diego Sanchez, I give him that respect, man. He he should be, if not in 10, definitely on, on the outside of the 10. But Alves has to be a top 10 guy. No doubt about it. Um, Dangan Kim, if anything, has to be in the top 10. Um, Anthony Johnson, I think, would break in as number 10. Just out of respect. You know, Dangan Kim would be maybe 9. You know, I just, and... and I just don't understand. I just, I really don't understand. And then, to make matters worse, Martin Campman's name is not even mentioned here either. So, it's just like, like, what are they doing? They, they, they're just proving how stupid they really are. And I think going off of those guys who beat one guy in a top 10, they get moved past them all of a sudden. The guys who deserve to be in there are forgotten. It just goes to show how faulty the guys putting the names on the list are. You can't just go off of one event. And then, on top of that, if the list is waiting for a UFC event, big like Rio, or big like any uh, other event that was um, put on after, U UFC 132, for example, um, why even bother? Why even bother doing that? I mean, you might as well wait to the end of the year. Um, it should be done monthly. I think they do it. I think they do it on their own. I think they do it based on when they uh, group together and then come up with a, a a date to just put names together, draw it from a hat, and then rank them one through ten. I just think that's how they do it. Um, but the ranking system is all BS in my opinion. Um, this is the last video I'm making on it, just to show you how stupid the uh, the people putting the list together really are. Um, and the list holds no weight. That's the moral of the story, folks.